We are asked, what is the value of two and six sevenths divided by three and one third? And we're told to give our answer as a fraction. So pause this video and see if you can figure this out. All right, so the first thing I would wanna do if I have to divide fractions is to not have them expressed as mixed numbers like this. So let's convert these from mixed numbers into what you could consider to be more pure fractions. Sometimes folks would call them improper fractions because the numerator will be bigger than the denominator. So two and six sevenths is the same thing as two plus six sevenths, which is the same thing, two is the same thing as 14 over seven. 14 over seven plus six sevenths. If you're wondering why did I say 14 over seven, well I wanted them to have the same denominator, so I wanted a seven in the denominator, and so how many sevenths will make two? Well I'd need two times seven up here, so that's where I got 14 sevenths from. So 14 sevenths plus six sevenths, well, I have a common denominator here, so we're speaking in terms of sevenths. So I have 14 of something plus six of something, well now I'm going to have 20 sevenths. So this first mixed number, I could rewrite as 20 over seven, and then that's going to be divided by this second mixed number. And so three and one third, I can do the same idea. That's the same thing as three plus one third. Now three, if I want three in the denominator, how many thirds is three? Well, three is nine thirds. Another way to think about it, I just took this denominator and I multiplied it by three to get nine. Or you could say nine divided by three is three. So nine thirds plus one third is going to be equal to 10 thirds. So I've just rewritten this, this quotient, I guess you could say, as 20 over seven divided by 10 over three. And now we just have to remember how to divide fractions. If I divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So this is going to be equal to 20 divided by seven times the reciprocal of this. The reciprocal, the reciprocal of 10 over three is three over 10. And that is going to be equal to there's several ways that we could tackle this. We could try to simplify first or that we could multiply and then simplify. I like to simplify first. Where we see in our numerator, we have a 20 in our denominator, we have a 10. If we divide both of those by 10, the 20 becomes a two, the 10 becomes a one. So we have two times three in the numerator, which is six, and then seven times one, the denominator, seven. Just as a refresher, when multiplying fractions, you just multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. The other way you could have done this, you could have just said 20 times three, which would have been 60, over 70 times 10, which is 70. And then if you wanted to simplify this in some form, you could divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10, and you would get what we got right over there. 